Hey everybody, it's Brett here from The Tuning School, and in this Tech Tuesday, we're gonna be talking about everything you need to know about HP Tuner's credits. So whether you're new to HP Tuners or an experienced pro, you may have some questions on how exactly credits work. In this video, we're gonna be covering seven common questions that we get from customers. The questions are, what are HP Tuner's credits? What are the different types of credits? How many credits do I need? What modules do I need to license? What are credits attached to? And where credits are stored? And where do I buy credits? Let's get started. So the first question that we're gonna answer is what are HP Tuner's credits? The credits are virtual units that cost money. After you purchase them from HP Tuners or the Tuning School, they're added to your software, giving you the ability to license the module. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that when you take the HP Tuner software, you can pull a tune file out of a vehicle, you can save that tune file, you can modify that tune file, you can save that tune file again, but if you wanna upload it to the vehicle, you first have to license the vehicle. That's gonna cost those credits and turn costing you money. So if you wanna actually upload any changes to the vehicle, you have to use credits first. So the next question we have are what are the different types of credits? So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the older make specific credits that apply to this old style MPVI unit that you see here. Now it doesn't matter if it's a pro or a standard, you're gonna be using make specific credits. Now what does that mean? That means that you're gonna be using specific Ford, GM, or Dodge credits. You'll see that as an option when you go to buy them. Now this unit's gonna utilize those credits and you're gonna to have to buy them specifically for whatever car you're trying to tune. So if you're trying to tune a GM, you can't use Dodge credits to tune the GM, you'll have to buy GM specific credits. Now another type of credit that they sell is a universal credit. The universal credit only applies to this newer MPVI2 unit. Now the nice thing about this universal credit is it's not make specific. You can use any credit on any vehicle that you would like to and that's including anything outside of 4GM and Dodge which is like Volkswagen, Audi and so on. So you have to actually use this unit if you want to tune anything outside for GM or Dodge, and you're going to have to use universal credits with it. Next, we're going to talk about how many credits you need. The easiest way to figure out how many credits you need is to have the file open of the vehicle that you're trying to tune. With the tune file open, you're going to come to the top of the screen and click the right vehicle button. From there, HP Tuners is going to prompt you saying, hey, you don't have credits for this vehicle or you have not licensed this vehicle. So let's see exactly what our license options are. So we'll click the show license options button and then it's gonna prompt us to connect an interface. The first one we'll connect is this HP Tuners MPVI2 unit here. So with this unit connected, it'll register and it'll say, okay, this vehicle is gonna cost two credits to actually license and I only have one credit available, which means we'd have to go buy a credit in order to actually tune this vehicle here. Now to show you the same example, but using this older style unit, if we unplug the MPVI2, we can go back up to the top of the screen and click flash again. And again, we're gonna click show license options. We're gonna connect this interface and you'll see the amount of credits we need to actually tune this vehicle does not change. However, we have different options for the credits available. There's specific options for GM, Ford and Dodge. And you'll notice we only have one Dodge credit, which means we'd have to buy two GM credits for this unit in order to tune this vehicle. Now let's say you don't have the vehicle there that you want to tune, but you wanna get an idea of how many credits it's gonna cost beforehand. What you can do is actually head over to the HP Tuners supported vehicle list that you see here. There's actually a link to this list in the description of the video. From here, you can select a specific make of the vehicle you're trying to tune. For example, we'll go to Chevrolet, and here's a list of all of the vehicles that HP Tuners supports and exactly how many credits they cost. Now something to keep in mind, it's not always gonna cost two credits to tune a vehicle. Most of them are gonna cost two, but some of the newer vehicles and some of their newest, newer supported vehicles are actually going to cost more. So for example, a 2014 uh, or 2017 Corvette is gonna cost you four credits. If you're trying to tune a 2008 C63 AMG, it's actually eight credits. So it's always a good idea to come in here and check this list before actually committing to tuning a vehicle so you know exactly what it's gonna cost you in credits. The next question is, what modules do I need to license? Now, more often than not, you're only gonna be working in the ECM, which is what controls just the engine. Some examples of modules that you're not gonna to need to license that you're not normally gonna use is anything related to the fuel system control module or FSCM, or anything related to the body control module, which is labeled BCM. Sometimes you're gonna be making some transmission changes to the transmission module, but you're gonna to have to decide that beforehand to make sure that you're not licensing that module uh, unknowingly and without actually needing to use it. So the way that you'd know exactly what modules that you want to license is you're gonna actually 
figure out what modules you have access to when you go to read the vehicle. So for example here, I'm actually hooked up to a bench uh, computer here and I'm gonna click read vehicle inside my VCM editor. And before I do anything, before I go ahead and commit to reading, I'm gonna select gather info. Now you'll see for this particular computer, I've only got one module. That's because this is an older computer. It's a 2004 Silverado. So all of the transmission settings and the engine settings are inside the same module. If this was a newer computer, you'd have different options here for not only the engine uh, computer that you see here, there'd be a transmission computer and maybe even a fuel system control module as well. If there's any of those units in there that you do not wanna actually modify or you're not gonna be making any changes to, what you do is you'd click this drop down here and you would select do not read. So by selecting do not read, it'll skip over that module and read only the modules that you've selected. Now keep in mind, some modules have to actually be physically modified by HB tuners before you can read them. For more information on that, check out the supported vehicle list that we talked about in the last question that's also linked in the description. So the next question is what are credits attached to? It's very common for most people to think that credits are attached to your VIN number, however, that's not entirely true. If you come inside here to your VCM editor and you actually have a tune file open, you come up to this icon here which shows you calibration details. More often than not, your actual licenses, your credits are attached to the serial number for the specific module that's inside of your vehicle. So it's not as simple as just a VIN number, it actually has to do with the serial number inside your module, which is gonna be specific to that exact module. So with that in mind, if you were to change out modules, even if you changed out to a new module that had the same VIN number, it's not gonna have the same internal serial number, which means you'll have to relicense that new module all over again. So that's what the credits are actually physically attached to is the serial number, not necessarily the VIN. Next up, we're gonna talk about where are credits stored? So a lot of times people get a little bit confused on where exactly the credits are stored for the vehicles you've licensed. They're actually physically stored on these units. So they have nothing to do with your laptop. They're not stored on your laptop or your software. Now, the reason that's really convenient is because it gives you the opportunity to take this unit, either of your units, and you can go to any computer, any laptop, anywhere in the world, and you're still gonna have your licenses because they're actually physically attached to these units. So the last question that we're gonna cover is where do I buy credits? Now you can buy credits direct from HP Tuners. However, if you buy from us at the tuning school, through our website, you actually get your credits at a 5% discount. That might not sound like much, but it's really gonna add up over time. Not only that, our system is completely automated and runs 24 seven, 365 days a year. So the moment you put in your credit order, as long as all your information is correct, you're gonna get your credits in less than 10 minutes. Now, to do that, you come here to our website right here, thetuningschool.com. If you go to shop, you'll see there's this giant banner where it says click to buy HP Tuners credits. So we're gonna go ahead and click here. It's gonna pull up the window here. We can select the type of credits we want. You'll notice we sell the universal credits as well as the make specific for the older style MPVI unit, which you see here for GM and Dodge. And you'll notice they're at 47.49. That's how much they cost. That's at a 5% discount. That means in total for most vehicles that take two credits, it's gonna take you $94.98 to actually tune the vehicle. And we can get you all taken care of right here through the tuningschool.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you a clearer understanding of exactly what HP Tuners credits are and how they work. For more high performance tuning knowledge, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, follow us on social media, and as always, stay tuned. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also check out our other videos. And if you're interested in any tuning products, check out our website.